Hey gang, Anthony Radzikavich here. I got a request to do a video on how to make the virtual box window full screen. And then also I noticed that there's a resolution issue within Ubuntu for uh, the, the same effect. So the first thing is to change the viewing options within VirtualBox. And if you click view and then full screen mode, it'll give you a message saying you can get out of this with host F or you can access the hidden menu with host home. So go ahead and click switch. And then this is kind of what we're looking at right now. If I have this and I type displays, and press enter on that icon you'll notice that the resolution only has two resolutions set so it doesn't fill up my entire monitor screen so we do need to do a few things to enable the communication with uh, the VM and the actual computer through VirtualBox so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in terminal and open that guy up and then remember in Ubuntu we have the sudo uh, how would you say prefix to anything because we don't change into root and what we're going to be doing is the virtual box guest additions ISO right and then authenticate with your user here it'll say hey are you sure you want to do this just click yes and then go ahead and let this install all right and we're back so now that that's finished we're going to run another installation so we're going to do whoops apt get install and this time we're going to be doing virtual box guest uh dk dkms there we go enter and yes and then again we're just going to wait until this is finished and after we're going to do this, I'm going to show you a nice command that will take, uh, in Debian systems, it'll take that application and reinstall it as though it were never installed before. So that's actually an important uh, command to know for the LX0-103 exam if you're looking to get certified. All right, and I'm back with you. So again, I'm going to show you that command here, and instead we're going to use dpkg reconfigure, and we're going to reconfigure that virtual box. Whoop, guest DKMS that we just installed, and here we go. All right, and now that that's finished, what we're going to do is go ahead and close out the terminal. And let's check displays again. And what you see is we still have the same settings because what did we not do? We did not restart the virtual machine. So go ahead and let's shut down, restart. and boom there you go so you notice now we are in full screen i am going to authenticate to the system we're going to go to displays again because i do want you to see that those options are available so the other resolution options is what i mean so what what it's taking now is it's able to communicate with what's known as the edid uh from the displays and get into the virtual machine. So there's a little bit of a uh, communication gap between the two. But now you notice that the EDID that my monitor is sending to the virtual machine is in 1920 by 1080. So that's 16 to 9 ratio. And if I wanted to manually switch to anything else, I definitely could. And you do see that the resolutions are now populated. So that, whoop, that is how you put VirtualBox and Ubuntu in full screen. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, uh, and give me a comment if you have any other requests that you'd like to see or if you have any feedback for me. As always, guys, happy Linuxing.